Shout out to Sarah Curry from Blaze Yoga and Pilates who gave me this recipe. She told it to me. Um, I don't like written recipes. So she told me this recipe for tekka masala and um, I did it in my Instant Pot. I've been making it a ton, so I'm gonna show you exactly what I do. It's like mass pandemonium and chaos in my house, so bear with me. Basic ingredients, boneless skinless chicken thighs. These are from Vernon Family Farm, but I've also made them with these local black turtle beans. So kind of pick your poison, both work. But for this, I'm gonna be doing this bag. And then we need onion, we need garlic, we need ginger, so fresh ginger root. This is a fair, fair size. And then some other veggies. So I've used zucchini, celery. I'm gonna throw in these sweet potatoes tonight. And then I like to throw some type of green on top of the Instant Pot. And we have canned tomatoes full fat coconut milk in a can. We have curry powder and garam masala. Okay, so I've got this on the saute feature. I have the onions, the garlic, the chopped ginger, a heaping tablespoon of the curry and a heaping tablespoon of the garam masala. And I added the chopped sweet potatoes, some salt in this can of diced tomatoes. And I filled the can with like about halfway with water and then add that too, just for some extra liquid. Then I threw in the chicken thighs on top of all that and put a bag of Swiss chard on top of everything. This will wilt down and kind of steam itself on top. Okay, and over here on the side, I'm cooking up some basmati rice in some bone broth so we can serve it over that. And I'm also gonna roast up this cabbage. I like to have some extra veg on the side. So 25 minutes is done. I let it naturally depressurize and you can see all the greens have steamed and then underneath is the chicken. So what I'm gonna do is remove this from the pot. Here are the chicken and the greens. I'm gonna shred up the chicken. Over here we have the sweet potatoes and the broth and all the spices. I'm gonna add this can of coconut milk to it and then I'm gonna transfer it to a blender and blend it up. If you have an immersion blender, you could do that instead. Creamy, dreamy sauce. And I'm gonna transfer all of this back into the sauce. I did pull out some extra veggies just to give it a little bit more texture. Ladle it out of the pot and over this plate of rice. 